freezer race and I was like, okay, cool. All right. Here we are. Hello, everyone. Do, 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 do. Don't let me look at my closet. When I first started doing speed runs, I tried to just copy him by also using a freezer race, and I decided, nah, let me go my own way. With the Saiyan? Female Saiyan? Yep. Right. Mostly because I main female Saiyan, but... Can't hear it. But no, I I feel like I can be competitive with the PC time. Cool. Because you're down pretty low. What is it now? Like 140 something? It's 137.22. Damn, dude. Do you think you can hit 135? PC world record is 136.06. <laughs> I think you... if I'm able to perform as well as I did even better in a future run, yes. Mm hmm. Okay. So I already have the show ready and started. We got our first match coming up first. Uh, our first match coming up first. Um, but before I start, uh, I do have a couple important things to say. First off, in case you're on the Discord and you don't know, uh, I'm working with my uncle right now. It's construction works, and I'm going to be living with him for the next month or so. Basically, I come home every once in a while. I'm going to be home again on Wednesday till Monday because I'm getting my next COVID shot, and I'm going to be out of commission. So I'll be home, but I won't be streaming. Um, but otherwise, I'll be with him working. So I, the schedule is pretty fucked right now. So uh, I'm home today. And I decided no matter what time it is, I'll do a universe mode stream because I've been really excited to get back into all this. And I uploaded all of the previous VODs uh, to the channel yesterday to catch up. So we should be uh, all caught up. And this will have to go up right when, I'm, when it's finished because I don't want to have to bring my laptop with me to his house again. <laughs> Remember, you can export it straight to YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that way you don't have to download it, then upload it. Yeah. Okay. So, it has been a while, so let me look at this. That's what I've been doing for my speed run. Alright. Uh, I also have a friend in my room with me, so if you hear anything in the background, that's probably her. <laughs> what? It's fine. No. It's alright. Okay. So we're gonna switch over to the game now. So our opening match, Pete Dunn versus Carl Anderson three. And Anderson has a new move to debut. No, it's two Tokyo <laughs> The machine gun Carl Anderson, accompanied by Arn Anderson. His new manager. So far, it's one apiece. This will break the tie. This third match Anderson has had against Pete Dunne. I wanted it to be a steel cage match, but the steel cage matches suck, so I decided not to do that. And I, I don't know if I said it or not. I, I wanted to play as Carl Anderson, so I could use the new move. <laughs> but yeah, there he is. I think I said it to where he uses the Spine Buster as a finisher as well. Because that was Arn Anderson's finisher. So I wanted him to, like, take it over. Also, I think the audio might be a little too loud. Let me turn it down a little bit. I'll give you a Spine Buster. Spine Buster me, daddy. Okay. <laughs> Just say, okay. <laughs> how I can get you to stop because then it'll make you uncomfortable. I mean, yeah. And there's the bruiser weight Pete Dunn. <laughs> you started doing that so you tr get me to stop uh, saying that, but now I'm countering it on, on countering it on to you. Thanks for explaining it, Pixel. <laughs> uh, you know, uh my uncle, he actually has 2K20 instead of 2K19. And we were playing it with his kids, and every time something would happen, I would say, Oh man, 2K20 shit, this game is shit, fuck this game. And he was just saying, can you shut up about how bad it is? It was like, he just, it just got annoying after a while. And then at one time, the game crashed while we were playing a 30-man rumble. 
Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I've had that happen. Yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, I was playing a rumble. Alright, hold on a second. I wanted to play as Carl. Also, I should look at this too. Carl. Okay. Carl. Carl. Carl, that kills people. Bah! Oh, no, I missed. Oh, went for it again. Now in the lockup. Be done shoving Carl into the corner. I'll shove you in the corner. I haven't seen my TV in four days. It looks so much bigger than what I'm used to. That's what she said. <laughs> Dick jokes. Shout right to the temple. A Pete Dunn kick to the back. And now the rapid stomps. I'm biting at the fingers. Going in for a cover. Arn Anderson trying to distract the ref, but the ref wasn't paying any attention. Goes behind. Carl German suplex with the bridge. One. Only a one count. Offset suplex you off of a bridge. That sounds illegal. I remember said it was gonna be a tall bridge. Well, how tall is the bridge? Maybe two feet off the ground. Oh, that's not too bad. It'll basically just be uh, elevated suplex. <laughs> you saw Anderson there attacking the arm. Something Anderson taught him to pick a body part and tear it apart. But no, for your talk about real wrestling today, my god, Roman versus Cesaro was fantastic. Yeah, I was out busy, so I didn't catch the whole show, but I came in right at the end, and honestly, it's the best match. Like, that's probably the only match you really need to see is Roman versus Cesaro. If you want to watch a joke match, then, uh... They added that lumber... Uh, you said they added a lumberjack match right in the middle of it, didn't they? It wasn't added, it was Priest versus Miz, and Priest chose the stipulation that it was a Lumberjack match. Oh. It was basically a sponsored match, because uh, they had zombies from Batista's movie. In the Lumberjacks? Lumberjacks. That's, oh wow. Uh, there was a part where Morrison came down, and uh, he hopped up onto the barricade to do some diving move to a zombie and uh two zombies pulled him down and uh yeah face plant right into the ring after priest beat miz uh the zombies came in the ring and were on top of miz but at one point uh priest and miz both both decided to work together and fight the zombies that's amazing I was laughing because of how stupid it was. That sounds dumb. It was so stupid, but it was so hilarious because it was so stupid. P. Dunn goes behind, shot to the back of the neck, kick to the gut, big boot to the face. Now getting Pete Dunn into the corner. And the mud hole stomps. Johnny Nitro also called himself a thirst trap, I believe. Johnny Nitro? I mean, that's his other name. That is. He has like a thousand different names. Johnny Mundo, Johnny Morrison, Johnny Impact. Neckbreaker rolls into a cover. One. Only a one and a half. What else? Carl Anderson sitting in that corner. Triple threat women's match had the stereotypical Charlotte moonsault blah blah blah. Rocket kick! It, it had the typical Charlotte does the moonsault oh. from the top rope to the two opponents down by rings. Good stun! The new move! Powerbomb variation! <laughs> Get him away from those ropes. Uh, 
One, two, only a two. Carl Anderson gonna try to dive again. Dominic and Ray versus Dirty Dogs. Leg drop. It, it was a really good match. It was just very predictable. Yeah. I'm glad that Ray and Dom won, though. That's pretty dope. First Father and son, son as tag champs. champions. Yeah. Two and a half count by Pete Dunn. Carl Anderson kicks out. Uh, Sheamus long squashed Ricochet, basically. Long squash? <laughs> what is that? Rick Ricochet got a little bit of offense in, but it was mostly just Sheamus oh. destroying him. Alright. Oh! Bitter end! Uh, Two count kick up! Carl Anderson kicks out of the bitter end! It's kind of like how Brock had a long squash against some wrestlers. He has a like, long squash against some wrestlers because he could have ended it in like two minutes, but he decides to just make it a 10 minute match of him just throwing them around. Mm -hmm. That's what a long squash is. Carl Anderson goes to the suplex. Pete Dunn from behind, though. Hooks those arms. Dragon suplex on the back of the neck. Takes him down to the mat. Grinding his knuckles against the back of his head. And a stomp right to the small of the spine. Oh, boy. They just need to merge the oh! division. Honestly, yeah, they should have never split the tag division. Because you've got, like, one interesting team on SmackDown and two interesting teams on Raw. Oof! Because you've got New Day on Raw, Street Profits on Raw, and then the Mysterios on SmackDown. Carl Anderson. Oh man. Cobra Clutch! Pete Dunn quickly escapes with those elbows to the jaw. A very old school move, possibly taught to him by Arn Anderson. Bulldog! And he rolls out of the ring onto the apron. Suplexes him back into the ring as Arn Anderson watches. Jorah, I swear to God. Oh no. Oh, avoids the forward arm. Another Irish whip. The rebound. Spine Buster! That's for you, Arn! One, two. He kicks out of the Spine Buster! Jake, I believe he, when you're talking as Carl Anderson, you refer to him as Daddy Arn. Daddy Arn? <laughs> Wait, when I refer to Carl or Arn? When you're talking as Carl, you refer to Arn as Daddy Arn. Daddy Arn? <laughs> Daddy Anderson? Anderson Alpha? Oh! Drop kick! Also, I don't know why, but for some reason, Whenever I hear Anderson, I want to do the Mr. Kennedy as Anderson. <laughs> Even though I believe Mr. Kennedy is a garbage human, I don't remember. I don't remember either. So, so many people are just garbage. <laughs> I can't remember if it's homophobe, racist, or sexist. Or if you got a real winner, it's all of the above. <laughs> wow. I forgot about that. That's another really bad thing. Off the ropes. Another. 
Spine Buster for Daddy Orton! I wish I didn't have to think about pedophiles being in existence. Carl Anderson gets a win. He's beating a number one contender for the heavyweight championship. As we know, Pete Dunne is going to enter that Elimination Chamber match at Super Brawl in three weeks. I'll beat you. Uh huh. Is there anything else out of that sentence? <laughs> no. I'll, I'll beat you. Okay then. All right. And that's Pete Dunne. Disappointed. And I forgot what our next match is, so I'm gonna just come over here real quick. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I meant? No, I don't. What did you? That I'm gonna put my face on. Hi. You didn't have your face on? What? What are you doing, man? I mean. Oh, shut the hell up. Do you forget? I'm the master of purposefully picking your words out of context. Okay. Alright, okay, I remember now. So, uh, it was announced a while ago that the Dangerous Alliance, the former tag team champions, that they will not be participating in the tag team division for a while. Feeling that they have done everything they can in the division, being the longest reigning tag team champions, and holding on to the, having a chokehold on the tip and division for a while, they decided not to use the rematch, and that they will be retiring from the division for a little bit. And so, in place, we have a qualifier match tonight. As for who will challenge the NWO for the tag team championships at Super Brawl, we have the Butcher and the Blade versus the Hour of the Dragon. Pixel, which team do you think is going to win? The team that has a mask. Mm hmm. So, who do you think is going to win? The team where at least one of them has something on their chest. Do you feel like giving me a real answer? The team that has. A person with a tattoo. You really don't want to answer this question, do you? Jesus Christ, why don't we even ask you? I don't know. Probably because that's the whole point of you coming on here. It's to commentate and give your opinion. Okay. But if I have to say my pick, my pick is probably going to be the Butcher and the Blade. No, I'm the piss-taking commentator. The Butcher, the Blade, and the Bunny. And this entrance looks really cool with them. Dun 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 The knife and the meat salesman. And the rabbit. And the rabbit. <laughs> what's the opposite of a what's the opposite of a bunny? What's the opposite of a bunny? A cat. A We're cat. Not even the opposite of butcher. Well not the opposite. What's another word for a bunny? Rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit yeah. <laughs> the knife, the meat salesman, and the rabbit. That's who this is. Hmm? Dun 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 I meant to make a I meant to make a move set for Ally the bunny a while ago, but I never got around to it. Cause if I did, I would have put her in the elimination chamber, but oh well. Oh well whatever. This is so cool. Alright. Let Nikki play. I'm surprised Nikki Cross somehow didn't make it into the Elimination Chamber. She had a qualifying match at some point. And this is our 
of the dragon ultimate dragon in the front with the cape leo rush with the hoodie and here it comes ultimate dragon springing into action over the ropes Original started out. No trampoline there. You can, <laughs> you can clearly see it when the camera pans out. <laughs> Look, you can see it right there. <laughs> I've actually never noticed that. <laughs> I like how at first they tried to keep kayfabe and make it look like, like when Sin Cara did it, that there was no trampoline, and then they just gave up. <laughs> All right, the blade and Ultimo Dragon starting us off. I mean, if you're there in person, you know. I mean, yeah. Ducks the clothesline, Ultima Dragon, the former television champion, has a victory over the current television champion, CM Punk. Who's the cameraman? They need to be fired. We, we, need, we gotta fire him. A better shot where you can conceal the trampoline. We can't let the viewers at home know that we have a trampoline there. Neckbreaker by Ultima Dragon. And Ultima Dragon gonna make an early tag to Leo Rush. I mean, even with the trampoline there, I don't believe you'd get enough air to... Oh no, there's no way. You can never do that. But I didn't Act think about that. I didn't think about that when I was little. I saw a guy wearing a mask and thought that was, oh, this is awesome. But no, there, there's 100% no way you're doing that. Because he, sure, he's getting the running momentum, but I don't think he has enough... Uh, Forward leap. I don't think he has enough height to get that type of height to jump over the ropes. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there goes the heavyweight, the butcher, out over the ropes, onto the floor, and Leo Rush just taunting him, kneeling down. Leo Rush calls himself the money weight. The man of the hour toss over into the guardrails. Blocks the kick. Is he thinking he's Floyd Money Mayweather? Might as well. Who do you think is going to win in the Logan Paul Mayweather fight? I don't care. You're supposed to give me your opinion! Nah! I want the one with tattoos to win. Oh, so you want Mayweather to They both have tattoos, you dumbass! I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, popular one. I mean, I don't really like either of them, honestly. Oh, Jesus Christ, the Butcher going off on Ultima Dragon goes for a low clothesline, misses! Knee to the back! I God, there were four judges so that it could end in a tie. Oh neither God! Neither of them deserved the victory. They both suck. Leaping heel kick by Ultimo Dragon. It's one of my favorite moves. It's th there's a reason why Mayweather took the fight, hmm. and T it's his nickname, Money. Uh, Butcher, you gonna do something? How about Leo? Leo, tag in. It's right there. Okay. Le Leo doesn't have any peripheral vision. <laughs> He's just looking forward. He can't even see the butcher. Oh my god. The butcher! See the butcher, but the butcher was right in front of him. Oh wait, I got him confused. I was saying I meant the blade. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Yeah. Uh, this is the butcher. Yeah. Why didn't you con? Yeah. Shut. Fuck me. Because I'm not the one who has. Hot tag. Reverse mode. Yeah, but you're watching it. Yeah, but we don't see the butcher and the blade often. That's true, actually. This is this is kind of out of nowhere for the butcher and the blade to get this qualifying match for a championship. And to see where to see where Leo Rush and Ultimate Dragon have come from before they were a pre-show oddity. Before coming onto the main roster. You're a pre-show oddity. Oh, here we go. Enziguri into the jaw. Now for a cover. My God, One, two. Broken in half. I don't think that's physically possible. 
Could you break your jaw in half? It's uh, a bone. I mean, yeah, but where would the half of it be? Oh God. Oh, Spanish fly to the butcher. It doesn't matter if you break it. It's broken in half. Okay, fine. Tags in Leo or Ultimo. Half. That is like double drop kick. There's one half that will be connected to your skull. The other half will be connected only by the oh. other part of your jaw. And uh, I'm not sure how, but Leo got taken out there. The bunny has put a chair into the ring. Insecure in the corner, the butcher ducks it, grabs him by the neck, choke bomb! The, the ref clearly is blind because he walked right on top of the chair. One, and did not two, think about it. the butcher and the blade win! That ref is very clearly blind. I mean, it wasn't used in the match. But it's a foreign object in the ring, so he should have gotten it out of there. All right, so now we know who will face the NWO for the Tag Team Championships. Like if I could, I've had a pen, I'd write it down. I, I don't feel like looking for a pen right now. Uh, just remind me. <laughs> the knife in the meat sale. You could just type it out in the commentary tape. Oh, yeah. I, ca I could have done it this whole time. Why don't I just do that? <laughs> you're a moron. Alright, hold on. Butcher and Ye the Blade versus the NWO Super Brawl. There we go. Alright. There's this app on your laptop called Notepad. I just use Google Docs. Then I can access it everywhere. Then why don't you have the Google Docs? Because I don't have it open right now. <laughs> why don't you have it open? Because I don't have it open right now. Oh, well, why don't you have it open? Because I don't have it open right now. Simple as that, Pixel. <laughs> you could just say you don't want to. Well, said that I don't want to have it open, I just don't have it open. <laughs> well, that's not a reason why. You know what else isn't a reason? Mom. <laughs> Why'd you just say mom? <laughs> I said your mom. Oh, I only heard the mom part. Alright, anyway. So, next match. I don't think we've had these two face each other yet. Ahmed Johnson versus the never open weight champion, Mike Awesome. The United States Champion versus the Never Open Weight Champion. This is a champion versus champion match, actually. I'm just not realizing that. <laughs> and then after this, we have a huge match. Booker T versus Vader. Or the winner... Well, if Booker T wins, he will get a heavyweight championship match on the first Monday Nitro of Season 4. That is next year. And I think Pixel said he'd be right back, so where is he gone? Yeah, he muted himself. Alright. <laughs> okay. Bada bit. I'm sure we'll be back before the entrances are done. And coming out first, Ahmed Johnson, the Red Destroyer, the Mercy Killer, the United States Champion. He's defending the championship at Super Bowl against the Big Red Machine, Kane. But right now, he has to worry about this champion versus champion match when he takes on Mike Awesome. I'm worried about what my brother and his on TikTok. Are they watching porn? No. <laughs> I don't think Peacock even has porn. P 
Peacock? Actually, uh, you know, in another world, I bet Peacock actually is a porn website. I mean, think about it. Peacock. I said TikTok. Oh, I heard Peacock. <laughs> 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 oh my god, you stupid. <laughs> I heard Peacock! I don't use TikTok very often. But no, uh, And when I do, it's only for porn. That's a lie. <laughs> there isn't any on there. Yes, yeah, it's against the community guidelines. There are, there are a lot of thirst traps. Yeah, I mean, I guess some of the challenge, some of the dances could be considered softcore, but that's like ultra softcore. Like, I don't... How do you get off to that? I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh. Anyway, does Mike Awesome have the belt? Yes, he does. Okay, good. Because sometimes he doesn't enter with it. But no, uh, he had me open up, hand him his... One of his switch keys, and he uh, licked the bottom part of it, and I said, "Yep, it tastes terrible." <laughs> nice. Because apparently, someone on TikTok said that uh, if you lick the game thing side of the of a switch game, it tastes terrible. So he he did that, and he tried to get me to try it and I was like no thanks I'm not that stupid <laughs> alright here we go Mike Awesome versus Ahmed why am I playing this match why am I playing this match oh god yeah but okay hold on where's the I can't get to it oh god damn it hold on a second it's because you're in the middle of a move. I'm in the middle of a move okay there we go I'm sorry Ahmed please don't lose Carpet would be so mad at me uh <laughs> It's a squash match, imagine. I mean, he is champion after all. I mean, they're both champion. The never overweight champion versus the United States champion. Big power bomb. Two very large athletes. Did Ahmed enter with the belt? Yes, he did. What are you talking about? I mean, I also wasn't paying You also went to go do something dumb. I didn't. Do something dumb. My brother did something dumb. But you considered it. I didn't even consider it. <laughs> Ahmed rakes that arm hard. Awesome though gets right back up and a huge clothesline, but he can't knock down the Red Destroyer. Not just yet. Bumps right off of Ahmed like hitting a brick wall. And that's very rare for Mike Awesome, being a man of his size. You're my size. And he takes down the Red Destroyer. I'm very small. Tell me what she said. I'm five size. I'm somewhere between five eight, five ten. And actually actually I weighed myself today. I weighed two forty and the last time I weighed myself I was two forty six. So working with my uncle actually helped me lose six pounds. Nice. And all the working out I've been doing before that, it's actually been working pretty well, so I'm happy about that. I'm like 110, 120. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I have God-tier metabolism. You get those stripper genes. You just don't, you can eat anything you want and not gain any weight. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be a stripper. <laughs> I, I'm did, I didn't say you had to be a stripper. But still, saying, saying I have stripper genes, no. If Mike Awesome goes for a senton. Then I wouldn't be what? Then I wouldn't wear pants. God, you're stupid. <laughs> God, that is so dumb. <laughs> oh, I thought Mike Awesome might have been thinking about going for the awesome bomb from the top rope, but no. I have to admit, that was a very smart joke. That was dumb, as what it was. It was a very smart joke based on how you were talking. Over to the right. Big boot knocks down Mike Awesome. And Ahmed Johnson has been on an absolute roll in terms of picking up wins. He's beaten Matt Hardy. He's beaten Edge. He's beaten Ultimo Dragon. And now he's going to beat Mike Awesome. Just you watch. The Red Destroyer cannot be stopped. 
I like rolls. They're my favorite type of bread. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I prefer biscuits. I like I like a good biscuit. Uh, but what's your favorite type of bread? Swiss the Hawaiian rolls. The Hawaiian rolls, those are awesome. Oh, see why I said rolls. <laughs> oh man, awesome Bob! I got sixty nine XP. Funny. One. 69? That's the weed number. <laughs> For once, I can actually tell that you're not being stupid and it was a joke. <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes. Mike Awesome, going up to the top. This is going to be a really hard fall. Sometimes it's way too hard to tell if you're joking. Or awesome bomb from the top to Ahmed Johnson. But for once, you were very clear that you were joking. Only a two count. Ahmed Johnson kicks out of the awesome bomb. The avalanche awesome bomb. <laughs> Guys, you heard it here first. Jake finally said a joke. That was very obviously a joke. Shut your face! Oh, runs back first into him and hits a spear! Awesome bomb! Trying to put away the mercy killer! He's gonna pin the NSA champion right here on Nitro! Oh, but it's only a two and a half. I'll pin you right here on Nitro. We're not even at the commentary table. We're way in the back. I'll still pin you. The people we have, <laughs> the people we have at the announcers table up there are just animatronics. Ah, I love Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> Freddy Fazbear. Yeah, Freddy Fazbear is right there in the blue. Omni gets back into the ring. He's got uh, some in the corner. He's a bear. Oh god. Oh, boom. A big animatronic bear. I Look at this know. power from Ahmed Johnson. Does Freddy Fazbear have power like that? Yes. Oh. All right he then. Bite your skull off. That's his mouth though. I'm talking about his gangs. Do you have pythons like Ahmed? Yes. Oh. It's got a python on his pants. Packing that Pearl River penis. <laughs> <laughs> Pearl River crossing! One, two, 2.9 kick out! My God, Almighty. Another one! The double! kicked out of that. Jesus Christ, he kicked out of two! Only Eddie Guerrero has done that before! What if he kicks out of three? Then he'd be on par with Eddie. Oh, reverses the awesome bomb! Then he'd be, I guess, stronger than Eddie that would make him. Hmm. That's a, actually, that's another victim of Ahmed Johnson, Eddie Guerrero. He's taking out the great Eddie Guerrero. Oh, here we go, the fighting spirit of Ahmed. Mercy killer. That was, that was before the mercy killer gimmick. Maybe we'll have to go back there and give Eddie mercy. Who knows? Oh, one for the thrust kick, probably gonna set up for the ax. But Mike Awesome, with this amateur style takedown, and a stomp to the shoulder. What? And I'll be the show. What? Oh, okay. I had a choice pack, and I chose glasses. Hmm? I can't find my glasses. The male equivalent of Elma. Go wrench power bomb. That's it. That's exactly what Velma says. Yeah, I know. It's a stomp to the knee. My awesome. Oh, shot to the gut. Thrust kick! Here we go! 
The axe kick to the back of the head. That ball is crushed. One, two, and with the axe kick, Ahmed Johnson. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, Salvador Neverett. Thank you for the uh, raid there, man. Thank you very much. I don't really have a raid thing there, but thank you. Wow, he doesn't even have one set up, even though I raided him two years ago. I've never bothered to get one done, okay? But anyway, you're tuning in right here with Ahmed Johnson and Mike Awesome. The United States Champion Ahmed Johnson beats the Awesome One. Ow, my arm. The United States Champion racks up another win on his way to Super Brawl in three weeks. And now we move on to our next match of the night. I've pulled three Teoscar or Hernandez. Alright. Hey, Salvador. Hello. Thanks for the raid. But we have a really big match coming up next. It's huge. Booker T, the newest member of the NWO, will take on Vader. And if Booker T can win, he will get a World Heavyweight Championship match on the very first Nitro of Season 4 next year. So you've decided to keep going with... Uh, with what? WCW. Yeah, I'm going to keep WCW around. Because I was deciding for a while if I want to change it to like TNA or MLW or something. I've decided to just keep WCW. Because I don't want to have to go around and download all the new people. I like just, I want to just keep what we got here. Ugh. I think you should do either TNA or MLW when 2K22 comes out. Yeah, when 2K22 comes out, I think I'll change it up a little bit. Because... How are you going to download all of the star superstars from this game? That's true, because there's a lot of people here that they probably won't have the next game. <laughs> yeah, like Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. Yeah, that's going to suck. <laughs> my two favorites. Or at least one of my favorite. I prefer Peyton. Here we go. Literally, if you don't shut up. Excuse me? There's something my niece said. I don't <laughs> know why she said it, but she said it. Uh, and Booker T is not alone. His brothers in the NWO, Samoa Joe and Jeff Jarrett, the tag team champions, are out here to I accompany him. I'm not the only one. Look at that. The NWO rolling deep tonight. I'm also now remembering that actually everyone at my uncle's house now knows that I stream on Twitch. So it's very possible that anytime during the stream they can tune in. <laughs> hmm. You didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. No, I told all of them too. Uh... Anyway. This is why I'm glad only my brothers know. See, my uncle knows, his kids know, his neighbor knows, his neighbor's kids know. Because they were they were because when I was uploading everything to YouTube they all they were all there and They were all like what are you doing on your laptop? Are you a youtuber? What are you doing? What's your YouTube? What's your twitch and like it's great? I'm glad to share it with them, but now I have family who's gonna watch me and that's gonna be a little awkward when I go back tomorrow morning <laughs> Or maybe they just won't watch maybe I'll be lucky <laughs> I Gotta leave early tomorrow morning. I gotta wake up at 730 and be there by 9 which really isn't that bad because he doesn't live too far away. So when this when this stream ends, I gotta clean my shoes, I gotta finish some laundry and pack. And then I'm probably just gonna go to sleep. Cause I don't wanna risk waking up late. Ooh, actually, I also have something to show you guys when this match is over. It's it's amazing. You guys are gonna love it. At least I love it. I don't know if you'll love it, but I love it, and that's all that matters. You know what else matters? The Mastodon. Vader. One of the entries 
in the Elimination Chamber. He took Elias' spot. Elias, who was taken out by Chris Jericho. Jericho damaged his ribs too severely and took him out of the Elimination Chamber. But apparently, he's back. And he's returned from injury. He's not here tonight. But he is feeling better. His injuries have subsided. He's been cleared to compete. That being said, though, Vader's name is already etched in. It's been sealed. All his participants have been decided, and that is it. So there is no getting back in for Elias. Vader has secured his spot in the chamber. One way, Elias, try and get back in. And how would that? Challenge Vader. That's true. We'll find out what happens in the coming weeks. I do. He is the rightful person to be in the chamber. Mm hmm. But here we go. Booker T and Vader. The Mastodon I, versus this guy. Oh, God. I, Whoa. I Booker mean, T. I was, uh. If I was Elias, I wouldn't waste my life against Vader. That's true. Because he could probably murder you. Booker T's holding his own, though. Oh! Congra congratulations on uh, earning your way into the elimination chamber. Uh, I don't. I don't need this spot. You can gladly take it. Mm. No hard feelings. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. The Mastodon has got this camel clutch in, or more rather, the colossal clutch. And Booker T reverses it. Vader landed throw first on that bottom rope. That's probably going to stun him a little bit. Uppercut. Right. Twist the arm. Reverse Russian leg sweep. Reverse. 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 Re Wait, that's just a normal Russian leg sweep then. I'm saying reverse. Reverse. God. Cha cha slot. Oh man. Jeff Jarrett and Samoa Joe watching this match on from the sides. Hopefully they don't get involved. Do you remember the Chop Chop Slide? I remember Chop Chop Slide. I couldn't, I could never do the moves, but I remember it. I remember being sad because I didn't know the moves. Oh, and Samoa Joe getting in the face of Vader. Slide to the right. As Booker T gets back to his feet. Chris. From behind, reverse DDT. And now I'm gonna bury that knee into the back of Vader's neck. It's actually not difficult to do the cha cha slide because you're just listening to the instructions. Well, you're not me, I have no coordination. I Thrust kick! Oh man! To the left. Against the ropes, the rebound, leapfrog! Twist the arm, and Vader hits him with the elbow to escape. Oh boy. God! <laughs> Fuck! Alley ooped him across the ring! Oh man. Booker T with the elbow to the jaw. He may have hit the orbital bone. Oh man! Everybody clap your hand. God, the Uta Ken by Vader, that spinning back fist! Dropped Booker T where he stands, but he's right back up and I'm going to the top rope I think it may be time for the Harlem hangover front flip leg drop across the throat of Vader The cover one two only a two count Vader kicks out of the Harlem hangover Now I would have been surprised if that put Vader away he a big man. He a big man. That's 380 pounds of muscle right there. Of meat. Oh, no, wait. Hold on a second, though. Axe kick! Schman Schmeat. One. Two. Booker T beats Vader! With the axe kick! Jake likes him some schmanch. I like me some schmeat. 
All right, I gotta write this down now. Booker T. All right. So Booker T. On the first Monday Night Show of Year Four, he will get a heavyweight championship match. Who will the champion be that he faces? We'll find out. Could it be your mom? Could it be himself? What would happen if Booker T won the title before that Monday Night Trap? I guess it would go to Vader then because he was technically runner-up. <laughs> but Vader's in Elimination Chamber. It doesn't. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I mean, I don't think he will. I just won't put him in any angles for the belt. Because on, on our way to Starcade, we basically have Super Brawl and then Starcade. That's all we have left. This, this year is going to end very soon. You'll end very soon. I will end very soon. Alright. No, don't. Alright, let me get our next match I'm ready. Chris Jericho is going to be in action. Up next in our main event, the heavyweight champion. Oh yeah, a cool thing about uh, MLB The Show on PS5 is uh, Stadium Creator. Oh, you can make your own stadium? Yeah. I didn't know that, that's cool. Has any game ever had that? PS5, no. Oh, only PS5, man! I mean, it. it is a lot of resources. Yeah. Because... Not, even, not even PC has it? It's not on PC. It's not? Oh man, that too? It's on Xbox One, Xbox uh, Series X and S mm. as well. Alright. Basically, it's on next-gen consoles, but I do not believe MLB The Show is on <sighs> PC place. Oh, okay. Yeah, I believe it's a console only game. A rare console only game. Mm hmm. Okay, here we go. Chris Jericho in action tonight. The heavyweight champion makes his way to the ring. Just hold, hold for the power outage. Our pyro works, that's good. Come on. There we go, yeah! Heavyweight champion Chris Jericho and he is ready but wait a minute Elias in the Hawaiian shirt shot to the back with a kendo stick Elias is here he's on Nitro what the hell oh assaulting the champion with that kendo stick he wants payback for the injury he was not lying about uh, being back. He wasn't lying. He wasn't. Anybody. He is here. Oh, and Jericho's trying to fight back. The bell clap. Oh, man. Suplex on the stage. Oh, and he's got the heavyweight belt. Oh, Jericho hits him with the title. Ah! Ducks the clothesline. Grabs the boot. There's a clothesline by Elias now. Oh, and now Elias has the gold. Oh, man. Shot to the head. With the big gold belt. Drift away. Elias is incensed. Oh man. Oh my god, no, he can't. He's gonna throw him off the stage! Onto the concrete! And Elias going for the dive! Going for the going for the dive. Going I going going for the dive. Going for going for the I know he can do it! Going for the Ah, oh, you suck. Jericho gets back up. 
Oh no. Goes for the power bomb. Is it power bomb off the stage? But Jericho fights back. Oh man. Chop across the chest. The forearm. They're battling right next to the WCW logo. Oh, he misses the heel kick. Tries to grapple from behind. Another drift away. This is the third one. Bah! Let's get the kendo stick again. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. This is what you get, Jericho. This is what you get. A little incensed. That's what I said. Oh, bust the clothesline. You didn't say that. What does this Jericho do? Oh God, do oh. Get up, Jericho. You gotta pay for your sins. This is what you get! High knee! And once again off the stage! Will it work this time? Yes it does! Wandering elbow! Off the stage! And another! Drift away! On the concrete! How are you not dead yet, Jericho? Oh my god! Stomp! Bah! Murder! <laughs> Elias is going to murder Jericho on live television. Oh boy. Oh! Choking him out. This is not the official match that was scheduled. Jericho was supposed to go against Rey Mysterio. I don't know what's happened here. Oh, you went for the low blow. It's what Jericho deserves after all that's been done. Oh, and I was going back up to the ramp. I think Jericho was going to try to escape to the ring. Elias is still going after him, though. And look at Jericho pose. That son of a bitch. You know what you did. You know what you did to Lion's Pride. You know what you did to Elias. Oh, to save your own skin! Asshole! Get in there! Dickweed. Exactly. You know what? We're gonna do this. Elias has a table. Dill Fuck you! Dildo Baggins. Dildo Ball Baggins. Get this table in there. It's powerbomb time. Oh! Set this up. Come on. Jericho, get against this table right now. Get against the. Oh god. Oh no! Oh! oh! He nearly went to the table! Elias' plan almost backfired him tremendously. Tables! Tables! Come on, we, get, we gotta get that chat going to the chat. Come on. We want tables! We want tables! What is Jericho going for here? Give me life or give me death. Give me life or give me ladders. That's what Jericho says as he brings one into the ring. Elias turns around, quickly grabs it away. It's about to be a TLC. Ah! Oh! Ah! This about to be a TLC match. Where the, the table? Okay, well, I, I really hope Elias has this. He doesn't. Shit. Ah, he doesn't have the jumper. No. 
But you know what? That's okay. I'll jump you. Codebreaker! You won't know when, you won't know where, but I will jump you. Okay. Sounds good. Good. Oh no. Oh, sumped the leg. And another. Wait, no! Go! Oh! Another neck breaker! Reverse that this time. Oh! Set this table back up. Perfect. Jericho. Get over here. Oh no. Oh god. Oh! Neck breaker! Oh, your voice is the code breaker. Elias is gonna set Jericho up on that table. Oh, wait, no, Jericho fights back. Come on. You can't fight forever, fool. Fight forever. Oh, no. Oh, it's a ladder. And a drop kick to the back. What the hell is Jericho doing? Uh, Jericho? Jericho, you good, mate? There we go. You just take a little bit of a breather. Oh no. Neck breaker again! By spinning the table around and around. Oh, attacking the head! Those stomps is busted open, Elias! And remember, Elias is the one who attacked Jericho just moments ago, and this brawl is still going! Oh, yeah. Oh, he ignited the table on fire! I got all my this tables lit in half. Lit in half? I didn't mean to do that, actually. That table is just on fire for no reason now. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh, Brain Buster to Elias! That table's gonna be burning for a while now. You're gonna be burning. Oh no. Whoa! Big forearm! And I go into the top. Wandering elbow! And uh, we can just ignore this table. Another drift away. Okay, what the fuck actually? <laughs> Cuz actually there's a, it's supposed to be KO and uh no one's been knocked out. Yeah, uh, mm. How's Jericho not been knocked out? I I don't know. This was supposed to end by KO. Because I have it set, like, it's an, it's an arena brawl. They're just supposed to fight. But, like, yeah, god damn it. Game to set it, you. God! Kick to the back. Elias absorbs the pain. Drop kick avoided by Jericho. Bell clap! Oh, into the... Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, God! Oh, God! Through the flaming table! Suplex through the flaming table! And still, Elias is not knocked out! You can see him stirring! And Jericho is frozen in place. 
Oh god. Ding dong ding dong. Elias. Oh, knees. Face. Come on, you son of a bitch. This has got to end it. Come on, bro. Fucking hell. Oh my God. What more is there to do? A lot. Into the ladder. Gah. Let it be over, please. Oh God, just target the head. Oh, whoa, he left. Back in. And he leaves again. Jericho doesn't know what to do. Well, that's fine! Oh man, I thought I could jump. Oh no. DDT! Oh, look at the blood is starting to seep through his Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Elias, he comes right back from injury. He may leave with a couple new ones. Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what? I know what we're gonna do. I know what we're gonna do. Here's yeah, fucking monitors. We don't even need these. No fucking use them. It's an empty table. Fucking Spanish commentators didn't show up for work today. Go, God. Oh man. Door oh, suplex onto the monitor! Oh, and Elias is about to go for the big dive! Wandering elbow to the outside! My god! Table! Does he not have a table move? Oh, there we go. Get on there. Oh, you're telling me I can't have a bridge going over my baseball? Stick? Fuck you, Jericho! Oh, Jericho, reverse the elbow! Code breaker! He's still not knocked out. One of these men made him. Actually, I want this to be over. This should have ended a while ago, actually. It's kind of annoying now. Just I feel like the excitement has died down substantially. It can be over now, okay? Jesus Christ. Get in there! Get up! Oh no! Neckbreaker! God! Oh god! Oh, his head hit the steps! I'll hit you with the steps. Well, avoids the ladder, but hits the Judas effect! Oh, wait a minute. Elias! Come on. No. Come on. You're going up! And you're going down. 
Or not. Oh gosh. Oh geez. Oh no. Enziguri! Drop kick. Can this please be over? Soon. We still have thunder to do. For the love of God. Just, just simulate it. I will not simulate it. Chair! Oh, God. Chair! Sure. At this point, just, just end it. Just, just fucking, please. God damn it! God damn it! Jericho's gonna end up injured. Le Champion can keep going. Le Champion can suck a dick. Just hold my entire nutsack. Oh my god. God damn it! At this point, both of them are gonna end up walking out with the injuries. This is insane. And now Jericho was just stalking Elias. Oh my god, the back of his head! Oh no. You should have said it to finish her in. I, oh, I should have, shouldn't I? Damn it, I didn't think of that! Oh god. Oh, pop up power punch! I meant to say fastball. I meant to say fastball punch. Damn it. Pop up power punch. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh no. Get to the gut. End it! Fuck! Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, is this. Okay, no, hold on. I'm starting to get actually concerned. What the fuck? Yeah, KO was on. What the fuck? <sighs> oh man. Reverse DDT. Oh boy. Code breaker! Can this please just fucking end? God. Now attacking the legs. I really, honestly, I wanted to lie. So I played as Elias, so Elias could win this and end it quick. But now I don't care who wins. I just want this to fucking end. This has gone on way too long. The excitement is gone. I fucking god damn it. Son of a bitch. Oh my god, Jericho, I hate you. Here we go. Up top. Jericho, eat a dick. He's still not knocked out. Ah! Just Sam. I'm gonna do this. If this doesn't do it, I'm just gonna sim it. Okay, fuck this. Okay, y y you get the point. You get the point. Elias, he's back from injury. He comes out. He attacks Jericho. Yada yada. Fuck Jericho. There. It's over. Fucking hell. Jesus fucking god damn it. Christ. Elias, you win. Now you're gonna see him again next week for the belt. Fucking Christ. God. I told you like... Five minutes ago. I was really trying to end it. Nothing would end it. What the fuck?
Also, my camera, my hand got in the way of the camera. Sorry about that. What the fuck? <laughs> ah! <laughs> the main reason why <laughs> it would not end is oh. because the game hates you. The game does hate me. Fuck, fuck this game. God damn it. Okay. And uh, luckily, no one got injured there, so that's awesome. Anyway, so Carl Anderson beat Pete Dunn. The Butcher and the Blade will challenge for the Tag Team Championships. Ahmed beat Mike. Booker T beat Vader. And Elias Tag Jericho. That's all you gotta know. Okay, Salvador. So, Salvador, uh, welcome. Uh, how about uh, who is your favorite wrestler? That'll be your nice welcoming question. Go ahead and answer that if you want. We move on to Thunder, and I'll set up the show right now. So we already know that CM Punk is going to defend his championship against Brock Lesnar. Actually, wait, hold on a second. I have to make it a cash in because Brock Lesnar has the uh, championship briefcase, whatever I called it. Yeah, the television championship challenger briefcase, and I put the date of when it was contested for. So that's pretty cool. So, announce cash in. Yes. Awesome, so we have that. And I have to put uh, Lesnar in his actual attire. McIntyre. Yeah, what about him? That's Salvador's favorite wrestler. Oh, I wasn't looking, okay, awesome. Drew McIntyre? That's fair. He's cool. My favorite wrestler changes literally every day. So, yesterday I said Miro. Today it's probably fucking Cesaro. Especially after the match he had against Roman Reigns tonight. That was awesome. Most of the time it, it is Cesaro. Most of the time it is Cesaro for me, because Cesaro is a menace. He's, the dude's awesome. Yeah, I was... I was just saying, in general, for you, it's Cesaro. Because, mm -hmm. like, a lot of the times when I talk about wrestlers, he's like, oh, I love me some Cesaro. I love me some of the Swiss Superman. He likes his cyborg Swiss. I like my cyborg Swiss and my chocolate European. That made no sense, and I don't care. <laughs> I prefer my uh, American chocolate. Mm hmm. I think there is actually a difference because I, I believe European chocolate is actually a bit more bitter. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wanted to show you something real quick, honestly. Actually, uh, pass me the thing. Huh? Pass me that. Of course you're to show off. Yeah, look at this. Look, guys, <laughs> look at this thing. This is great. It's a little drumstick pillow. This is the best thing ever. It's awesome. Pixel, look at it. Look at this. I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> I can beat people up with it. Okay, so this, the match to start the show will be the match that was supposed to end the other one. So we'll have Jericho versus Rey Mysterio. <laughs> beep, beep. Did you say beep, beep? What was that? Sure, I said beep, beep. What did, what did you say? I'm not saying. I heard beep beep. You're talking best wrestler, it's Triple H. Did Triple H pay you to say that? <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you if that's like an actual, like if that's your actual opinion, because Triple H was pretty fucking cool. You wore. Well, Triple H is great. I still think that uh, D. Bry is the best. He wore all the denim in the world and entered to Motorhead. It's awesome. <laughs> I remember I was really, as a kid, I was really upset when he shaved his head and went corporate. I, I mean, his long hair is iconic. Exactly. Let's see. I want to give New Jack a match. R.I.P. New Jack, he passed away this week. Past of a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Who 
Who should his uh, well? Who should his last opponent in WCW be? Who do you think it should be? I think it's gonna be Terry Funk. Why specifically Terry? EC Dub. You could do Tommy Dreamer. I haven't downloaded Tommy Dreamer yet. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Yeah, I know. I played around with the idea. It's because we have Terry Funk and Cactus Jack as a team here. They're uh, Team Hardcore. And I was thinking I could add Tommy Dreamer there as their third member since I like to have a lot of factions or just trios. And they could be the House of Hardcore because Tommy Dreamer has a whole company called the House of Hardcore. And, you know, they all have their ECW ties. I thought that'd be pretty cool. But I haven't had the time to look for a Tommy Dreamer call yet. I'll probably do that once the stream ends with all the other shit I got to do. <laughs> So yeah, that's a match tonight. That'll be the second match of the night. New Jack versus Terry Funk. Or should that be first? We'll make it first. Deserves to be first. Randy Orton. Randy Orton's pretty cool. I think Randy Orton is, en is starting to enter the last few years of his career. He definitely is. Because for, for the past few years, he, he's not... I, I'm not going to call him a part-timer, but he definitely has a very loose schedule now. He's definitely become more part-time. Mm -hmm. He's become more part-time, but he's not a part-timer just yet. He's getting there. <laughs> I think it's actually pretty entertaining what he's doing with Matt Riddle right now. That's pretty okay. I think the main reason why he's partnered with Riddle is because this is probably going to be his like last few years. He wants to help some of the younger talent, maybe. All right, so Terry Funk and New Jack will start the match while Jericho versus Rey Mysterio go on second. We'll have Booker T somewhere on a match tonight, and then let's see. Well, we need a women's match. We'll get three of the women from the Chamber match to compete in a triple threat. So we got our two singles matches, a triple threat match. I think maybe we should give Cesaro a match tonight. And then Ray. No, Which, he's once not again, custom. speaking of Cesaro, my God. Oh yeah, his match was great. <laughs> they, they also he also got the shit beat out of him afterwards. <laughs> Fucking everyone got on him. Jey Uso, Seth Rollins came out and attacked him, wearing a jack that looked like he got it from Wish. Mostly so that they could probably write him off. Yeah. What's good though is that they didn't. The Cesaro lost, but he didn't look weak. Like he fought until the very end. He was very defiant. And I loved the way they had him be like. <laughs> Yeah, the way he sold the guillotine, like, the, like I would believe you if he told me that, the, that he legit got choked out. Yeah, because it looked like he had just, like, actually been like, wait, what? Where am I? <laughs> Plus, I believe Star would be the type of person to say, look, Roman, you gotta choke me up for real, because I am not gonna stop fighting. <laughs> You're gonna have to actually put me to sleep if you want me to stop. <laughs> Roman... I want you to legitimately choke me out. <laughs> Put her in the blue. That face looks weird. Uh, her. And. Sure. Wait, no. Where is Peyton? Peyton. And oh wait, Akira is part of the chamber match now too. Like okay. honestly, uh, actually, I'm gonna put this in the you... Discord real quick. So wait, put that and also oh well, yeah, if you told me uh that. 
Cesaro legit pass out, I'd be like, yeah, sounds about right. All right we're gonna have like two women's movie. matches tonight. He does, yeah. He, he seems like the type that would be like, I want you to legitimately knock me the fuck out. <laughs> Billy K versus Sure. Okay, I got the whole show booked. Ready to go. We have two women's match tonight, a triple threat. New Jack versus Terry Funk is starting off the show, and in the main event, CM Punk is defending his television championship. And I actually have to get their info up real quick, but I'll do that uh, while the show is going on. Uh, here we go. Better be, but... Oh no, what did I click? Oh, we're fine. <sighs> Alright. Here we go. The original gangsta New Jack versus the hardcore icon Terry Funk, the Funkster. Two ECW legends, two of the greatest icons in hardcore wrestling, a tribute match to New Jack. Sasha Banks has proved she's the best. She's definitely one of the best. Like, a, like a, I'll say, like, Sasha Banks and Bayley. If you put them in the ring together, they're going to make magic. They just work incredible together. It's like the New Day and Usos. They can't have a bad match. Bayley and Sasha, they can't have a bad match. You'd have to pay them to have a bad match. There's no way. You yeah, know, those two always have match of the night. Plus, even just naturally, like, it's really hard to think of a time Sasha Banks had a bad match. Like, she's really good. Like, even when they were hot potatoing the women's belt with her and Charlotte, like, it was still, uh, it was, there was still really great matches they had, every, like, every time they went out there. Like, yeah, the matches were great, but they shouldn't have been doing that because it really hurt the legitimacy of the title. Yeah, for a little bit there it was a little strange, but they were good matches. I I really like what they did with the uh, uh, SmackDown Women's title, though, at the time. Because it wasn't being hot potatoed like the Raw Women's title. <laughs> yeah. But alright. The original gangsta, New Jack, coming to the ring. His last match in WCW, he's going against Terry Funk. too bad he never got to hold on to any belt but maybe he'll come back who knows <laughs> he's the mystery opponent in the next year's Bash of the Beach 2 <laughs> I'm still figuring out who I want that to be I want to try to do maybe a women's version of it with four Instead of six. A women's golden ticket. I'm guessing you'd end up setting it to thunder. Well, I, I, yeah, I'd have to. Because you can't have multiple briefcases. Well, you can, but it'd be weird. I don't know. This game, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so I don't know. It just depends. I'll figure it out. I might. I probably won't do it. I don't know. We'll see. And from Amarillo, Texas, the, ter the Funkster, the Terry Funk, the Terry Funk. Here we go. This opening match starts now. Welcome to Thursday Night Thunder. Here we go. New Jack. Backdrop driver to Terry Funk. Starting off hot. Ah, that's hot. Ah, that's New Jack. Oh, man. 
New Jack. Discus punch right across the jaw. Shot to the back. Oh, now raking away, just pulling back the nose. New Jack, not really, not really known for his technicality. You should expect this to be just a brawl between these two. Terry Funk, a great striker, but again, a brawl is what you should expect here. Two men just going right for the throat. Axe handle knocks down New Jack. Jawbreaker by New Jack, ducks the clothesline, Terry. Big boot! If you set either of these men off, they could possibly kill you. If, yeah, they, these two men are fully capable of murder. <laughs> If they so chose and woke up on the wrong side of the bed that day, you could kiss your keister goodbye. Remember when Terry Fung tried to take out Jerry Lord's eye with a branding iron? Oh, the main event that's pressed by New Jack. Another cover. One. Only a one count. Shot to the back with a double axe handle. A stomp to the arm now. Bam. Terry Funk rolls up, gets back to his feet. Popped in the jaw by New Jack, stumbles into the corner. Oh no. New Jack tosses him shoulder first into that steel ring post. Oh, he misses the big boot. And from behind, electric chair drop. Rolls him over. New Jack, big elbow drop onto the chest, onto the heart. And now targeting the shoulders. Huh? Onto the heart. Onto the heart, and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. <laughs> and you give Jake. A DMCA. You give Jake a copy, right? Strike. It's okay. We're so off key, the cameras won't be able to pick it up. Cameras? Cameras? <laughs> cameras? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe you would mean content ID. The content ID. Oh man, here we go. Power driver spikes him on his head. And here we go. Vintage New Jack here from the top rope. Bombs away. Diving headbutt. How many it, bombs are away? Exactly seven. And a win just like that, my God. New Jack going out in style. That picture perfect diving headbutt to Terry Funk and the respect being shown. Two hardcore legends shaking hands in the middle of the ring. You gotta love it. You gotta love this game for setting up number 273 of our handshakes. <laughs> I love handshakes. Handshake simulator 2021. That's what this is. 2019. 2019. Oh yeah, 2019. Well, 18. The game came out in 2018. 2019. <laughs> it's 2K19. What are you laughing about? What was that? It was in 2003. What happened? <laughs> okay, it's fine. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. My friend saw a really funny TikTok apparently, and she couldn't hold it in. What was the TikTok you watched? <laughs> he put a bucket on his in Lowe's, he put a bucket on this guy's head and he ran and he ran around the corner, he took off his jacket, hit the jacket, put a bucket on his own <laughs> and it came out. And he's like, Does someone put a bucket on your head too? And the guy's holding the jacket. He's exactly. like, Yeah, we're not fucking. My that friend guy. has seen that exact one. <laughs> 
she can't hear you, so I had to tell her. <laughs> I, I'm, I I'm sorry, saying go I'm back to your shaving. Okay. All right, so next match of the night, Chris Jericho versus Rey Mysterio. This is the match that was scheduled to happen at the end of Nitro last week until Elias came out and bum-rushed Jericho, had that intense brawl for what was about 15 minutes, 10 minutes too long, because fuck Elias and Jericho, and fuck this game. Who's doing that to the game? That's... It's kind of weird to do to a game. I'm sure someone will find uh, something that'll fit the hole in the disc. What? <laughs> I know. <laughs> the Golden Lion. The master of a thousand and five holds. Y2J. The WCW World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Jericho. And he seems to be in pretty good condition, considering that insane attack that Elias had on him. Where Elias tried to literally murder him. Literally. He set a table on fire, but luckily, Jericho didn't go through it. Well, I don't know if it's really luckily. Elias did go through it. It was suplexed through it. The Hawaiian shirt, I think, may have been fire retardant, so it's okay. He didn't get any burns. But he was bleeding like a stuck pig all over that Hawaiian shirt. Jericho's probably going to have to reimburse him for that, the dry cleaning on that. You know how hard it is to get blood out of a Hawaiian shirt? Do you know how hard it is to get blood out of a shirt? Just, just any shirt in general? I do, because I've had to do it before. It's actually not too hard. Actually, it really isn't. <laughs> You just need so hot soap and hot water and like a tide stick. Did you know also you can use your own spit to clean up your own blood from a piece of cloth? But why would you do that? That's gross. I don't know, but it works for some reason. How did you figure that out? Because I saw a TikTok about it. Of course you did. That's where everyone learns everything nowadays is TikTok. You got your tack talks and your your tick tacks and your talk ticks. You get your U book and your face tube and your Insta space and your my face and, and <laughs> your Twitch tube. What the fuck is going on? Ray Mysterio, everyone. Here we go. Oh, Jericho starting off strong with the strikes. Hits him with the elbow. Arm over the neck. Suplex time. Oh, wow. A very cocky pin. Stomping onto his chest and doing the flex. Oh, but Rey Mysterio. Hurricane Rana whips him under the other side of the ring. Now, where's he taking him? Trying to get him against the ropes. A lot of Remister's offense involves the ropes and high flying. Drop toe hold onto the middle rope. Oh. oh. Double foot stomp. Grabs the leg. Dragon screw. Excuse me. Oh, brain buster. Another one of my favorite moves. Shot to the back. Is that why you gave everyone a brain buster? Everyone just had it normally. I didn't give it to Jericho, he just had it. <laughs> but whenever it gets popped out, I pop. There's a Louisville in Mississippi? Louisville, Mississippi? I'd hate to be from there. <laughs> they stole. They stole Louisville. They picked up the entire city of Louisville and carried it over there. It's like that episode of Spongebob. No, Louisville's still in They took the town of Louisville and pushed it somewhere else. <laughs> I don't know why to make uh, baseball stadium in Mississippi, so I'm... You're gonna put it... 
You're gonna put it in Louisville, Mississippi? Oh, okay. Darkville, Mississippi. Darkville? Dark, as in Tony Stark. Oh, Stark, okay. Alright, they get back into the ring. On the outside there, Jericho suplexed Rey Mysterio's legs onto the steel steps. So that probably tweaked his ankle. Tore something there. Long story short, Rey Mysterio's legs are not going to be doing good for the rest of this match. And using those ropes is definitely going to put a hindrance on his lower half. Oh, they're in for kicks at the same time. Jericho's landed and hits another Tiger Bomb. You having fun over there? Cocooning oh. yourself? Wait, 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 wait. What? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, Ray! 619! Booyaka, booyaka. And from the top! Don't go for the splash! But he missed! Northern Lights! One, only a one. Ray got the shoulder up. All right. Come on, Jericho. Another tiger bomb. Oh no, it's the backbreaker. Underhook, underhook, backbreaker. And the lion salt. God damn. He did that with like the most minimal amount of space. Impressive. But Ray kicked out. And how is Jericho going to put away Mr. tonight? He has a thousand of five different moves he can do. He can use the guillotine choke. He can use the arm bar. He can use the walls of Jericho. He can use the lion tamer. What else can he use, Pixel? The thousand and fifth hold. Yeah. That was taught to him by Conor McGregor. Oh, but he's opted for the lion tamer. He's gonna try to break Ray's back! I'll tame your lion. I don't own a lion. Well, I'll still tame it. Are you gonna buy me a lion just to tame it for me? No. I wonder if you can actually buy a lion. Probably illegally. Oh man. Baseball slide! Into the Hurricane Rana! Legal to own a lion. And that's why people like Tiger King exist. And probably shouldn't. Oh, Joe Exotic? Ray, he completely missed. Wow, he could not have been any further away. Poison Rana! I'll poison your Rana. What even is a Rana? Oh, man. I don't know. Probably some type of fish. Oh, Frog Splash! Off the springboard! Oh, that's a rope break. Jericho had his foot under the bottom rope. Very lucky there. Oh, but hold on. Ray, trying to find a corner. He climbs to the top rope. Ray, lying in wait for Jericho to get back to his feet. His stupid, stupid feet. Senton, he jumped right over him. Your feet are stupid, stupid. They are stupid. I hate feet. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. What did you get? All I said was I hate feet. We got. Oh, well, Jericho almost took out the ref there. Brain Buster! Blocks the kick. Ray drops him. And it's the walls of Ray! The walls of Mysterio! The half walls of Ray. Jericho puts him away. Oh, went for the belly to belly. Ray rakes the eyes. I think it was probably gonna go for that 619 there. But Jericho caught him with the code breaker and that could be all she wrote. <laughs> Salvador. Salvador, where are you from? I can take a guess. <laughs> Unless that's just your name because that that's many people's names. <laughs> Wow, oh, why Jake? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. If you're from the U.S., I would probably guess somewhere like Arizona. One of the 
Southwest. Guillotine! What should he call this guillotine? The 1006 hold! No. <laughs> I was thinking about calling it the lion's mane. No. Because there's a lion tamer, the lion's mane. And it makes sense because like he wraps around the neck where the mane is, you know, so like, you know. He has the lion's salt, the lion tamer, and now the lion's mane. It'll catch on. I already, I already know what you're gonna call it, even though I'm trying to think of the name. What am I gonna call it? You're gonna call it that. You're from LA? Oh, okay. So yeah, I know it was a Southwest state. I was just out there the other day with my uncle Carlos, and dude, the traffic was fucking ass. So they don't lie about that. Uh... No. It's fucking, it was fucking awful. It was so fucking stupid too. There was an, a okay, look. There was an accident on the opposite side of the street. That's, that's messed up. Like, I'm sorry for the people that were involved in it. But the people on the, ob on the our side of the freeway were slowing down to look at it. Like, you don't need to look at it. Like, it's on the other side. Just drive. But I wanna look at it. Why? It doesn't involve you. Well, I am a garbage human being, and I don't care what other people think. <laughs> That's what it is. All right, so I said we're having a triple threat. Here's our women's triple threat tonight. Three of the participants from the Elimination Chamber, Aja Kong, Peyton Royce, and Akira Hakoto. And my god, that face on Aja Kong is terrifying. I need to fix that pose. What do you think? What do you think of Aja Kong? Yeah. She's the one in the middle. I know. Yeah. I can tell. <laughs> she, she's actually, she does not, I mean, she does look like that in real life, but it's not as terrifying. Oh boy. <laughs> I love how the face looks hyper realistic, but the rest of the body just looks very like, uh, <laughs> cartoony. Not cartoony. Just uh, flat? Yeah, very flat. Yeah, she is not flat in real life, though. She is thickums. Very no, sturdy like, base. Shit, like, it, no, I know what you mean. Like that, the color of it. I know what you mean. Yeah. It's very flat, and it is. But like, she's a very large woman. The cage you tends can tell to. that from the image that she's a large woman. Use that size to her advantage against these two smaller opponents, Peyton Royce and Akira Koto. Akira Koto, though, packing a lot of strength behind there, has been able to lift Ajikon before, actually, for her dangerous queen bomb. What if I lift you for a dangerous king bomb? Is it more powerful than a queen bomb? No. <laughs> you, saved... <laughs> you saved yourself with that one. <laughs> Is it more powerful than a king bomb? Yes. I'd sexist I'd say it's probably about the equal amount of power because both are just slamming your opponent down to the ground true it's just gravity basically Aja Kong the Empress of Destruction it's 9.8 meters per second mm -hmm. or something like that all right and after this we have one more women's match Billy Kay will take on Sarah Logan in our main event. Brock Lesnar versus CM Punk for the WCW Television Championship. If I'm taller than Akira Hakoto, then it would be more powerful. If I'm shorter, then it'd be less powerful. Yeah, I guess that's fair. How tall is Akira Hakoto? Let me check. She is five six, so yeah, we are both so, we are both taller than her. So, mine would be powerful purely because I'm tall. Literally nothing else to it. How old is she now? She's only fifty three. Hmm. I mean, Red Flair still wants to wrestle. He he, he shouldn't. <laughs> He'll die. And Aja, how old is Aja? 
Ash is probably around the same. She's 50. Her birthday is in September 25th. Okay, so then you asked me at one point sometime before September. Yeah. But she's 50 now. And she's still wrestling. And in good shape, too. Like, she works real matches. It's probably a bit easier for her, though, because she's much larger and doesn't have to move much. And punching her literally takes nothing out of her. She is literally a brick wall. And that's not, that's not like just saying something because she's big. No, she is literally a brick wall. Like, people have punched her full force, and she has felt nothing. Her, actually, I, I've never seen the match, but I looked at her, um, uh, her wrestling, whatever it's called, the uh, Pro Wrestling Wiki, and apparently her and Awesome Kong, or Amazing Kong, or Karma, whoever you know her, they were, uh, tag team champions part once in this one wrestling company, I forgot what it was called, and it was apparently an intergender tag team match, tag team championship, and they fought the Dudley Boys for the, for the championships. So she's fought men too, like you know. I saw that it was a pretty dope match. You watched it? I said it sounds like a pretty dope. Match. It does. I want to find that somewhere. I gotta see what company it was for again because I don't remember. Aja Kong and Awesome Kong. They were called Double Kong versus the Dudley Boys or Team 3D because they can't use that name outside of WWE. All right, so you saw Peyton Royce enter the ring, Aja Kong, and now here is the Dangerous Queen, Akira Hokoto. These are three of the women that are going to head into the Elimination Chamber match at Super Brawl to decide a number one contender for the Women's Championship at Starcade. Of course, at Starcade, Mana Mitsuyota will be taking on the current champion, Alexa Bliss, the rubber match when Monami defended the championship back at Wrestle War. Let's get this triple threat started. Aja Kong, Peyton Royce, and Akira Koto. Aja Kong and Akira Koto, they have some history here. Murder Girls versus the Gifts of Japan. And Akira strikes first, hitting Aja with a big boot. And Peyton with a suplex to Akira, rolls over to a quick cover. Oh, not even a one count though. Oh my god, Peyton Royce with Aja Kong on her shoulders! My god! Uh, drop kick to both women, but neither of them fall. Continuing their own spat until Akira gets in there. The strikes landing onto Peyton's face. Cross body. Tries to land one on Akira, but misses. Big boot to Peyton. And of course, traditional triple threat rules. No DQ. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, she took out both Akira and Peyton with that one clothesline. And crushing Akira in the corner. But like I was saying, traditional triple threat rules. There is no count outs, there is no DQ, and no road break. These three men can do essentially whatever they want to each other until the match ends. You must pin or submit someone in the ring. Crossbody to Aja Kong. Akira's got the head of Peyton. Takes her down into the Fujiwara armbar. And Peyton escapes. She had very little grip on that head spring. Oh man. Oh, drop toe hold into the middle rope, Akira. Rebounding off the ropes. And sitting down onto the back of the neck, choking out Kong on that middle rope. She rolls out of the ring for a breather, while Peyton Royce suplexes. Akira Koda rolls over into a cover, only a one count. You know, with these, with these two great Joshi-style wrestlers, Akira Koto and Aja Kong, my money actually has to be on Peyton Royce. She's been on a roll ever since beating Billy Kay to get a spawn to the chamber. She has been more vicious and more dangerous than ever. 
And I believe this could be her night. Oh my god, what is she doing here? Wrapping herself up in the ropes like a tarantula and pulling those arms all the way back, making the shoulders meet. As she's tied up in the ropes and a big boot to the side of the head. That takes Akira out. Meanwhile, Aja Khan back to the ring, a drop kick to the back of the head. Didn't even phase her. Oh, twist the arm. Rakes at the shoulder. Did Vixel leave for a minute? No. Oh, okay, you're really quiet. <laughs> you know, I was creating a studio. Oh, all right. Send pictures of it into the Discord when you finish with it. If you can. I'll do it after I, uh... Finish. Finish my, uh... Getting my players. Oh, Brainbuster! God damn it! Whoa, man. Peyton hit Aja with the leg lariat and it didn't even phase her. Oh god. Oh god! Oh! All the way to the floor! The power bomb to the outside! That's gotta knock all the air out of Peyton's lungs when her back impacted that floor. Oh yeah, uh, one day, oh. I think, either this week or, yeah, I think oh, it man. Was one day this week, uh, I went outside and I was just throwing a baseball up in the air. I, I started sprinting a little too fast and ended up slipping and what again? hitting, like, right on my left kidney. Oh, God. Your so, left yeah. kidney. Oh. That drove the wind out of me a little bit. I imagine. Oh man. To Aja Kong! The Venus fly trap! You know, I I was wearing my Unasana shirt and surprisingly there was no grass stain there. That would have been sad. Peyton pins Aja right as Akira was getting up! I don't know how I didn't get a grass stain there though. Uh. Uh, Pixel, I'm gonna type something in our commentary table chat, and you cannot read it out, okay? <sighs> okay. Okay. This is a reminder for me. Alright, there you go. Aja Kong hit the Udaken on Akira Hakodo, knocking her out clean out. And Payne Royce took the advantage, hitting the Venus flytrap right as Akira was getting back to her feet. And my prediction is true. Payne Royce, the winner of this triple threat match. Dem legs. We are looking respectfully. And we will continue to look respectfully into our next women's match, which I actually am going to play because I love playing as Sarah Logan. Billy Kay versus Sarah Logan. Is there any, uh, like, uh, estimate as to when Sarah Logan is going to return? I think she retired. Did she? Oh, she retired fully? Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure she announced her retirement on Twitter. Hmm. Hold on. I got to look this up. Sarah Logan. Not Logna, I put Logna by accident. Logan retires. Oh, she did! She retired last year. June 22nd. Yeah, because she wanted to... Have a kid, yeah. Have the baby. Well, that's okay. She wants to have a kid, she can have a kid. I'm happy for her. And, uh, Raymond. Raymond Rowe. At least I think that's his... That's not his real name, but that's his wrestling name. What's his real name? I don't know. Oh, that is his real name. Uh, it is Raymond Rowe? Yeah, Raymond Rowe. I, I, I thought so because I believe, because I remembered her being Sarah Lowe. Sarah Rowe. I Rowe, yeah. My, my brain went low for some reason. It literally went low, yeah. <laughs> All 
right. Billy K. So which one of which one of them keeps the iconic gimmick? Is it Billy K or Peyton? I think it's got to be Peyton because Peyton has the iconic lock. It it's required to be Peyton, you moron. Yeah. <laughs> she won their match. She won. Yeah, she won their match. That Extreme Rules match. Peyton beat Billy fair and well, not really fair and square. There was a lot of weapons involved, but it was to take out all the aggression. They felt it was necessary. Best friends exploding years since practically birth, these two knew each other, have wrestled in rings all over the world, traveled all the way from Australia to America to achieve their dream. And it all finally ended in that Extreme Rules match. Maybe Billy Kay will have better luck next year. There's talk about WWE giving Damian Priest a big push and moving Alistair over to Raw. The idea is that the top of the Raw roster is weak and needs some fresh faces now that Randy and AJ are competing in the tag division. I am cool with that. Alistair at the top guy should have been done a long time ago. Also, the reason why uh, Alexa stole from the fiend was because uh, Ray's still broken up over uh, the passing of Brody Lee. Mm. Yeah. They're best friends, man. All right, here we go. Sarah Logan, Billy Kay. I'm playing as Sarah. Rough and tumble, Gower from Lowellville, Kentucky. Here we go, big boo right off the bat. The Observer says that a segment for a throw down, throwback SmackDown involving Pat McAfee impersonating a younger Vince was scrapped because Vince thought it looked stupid. I need that. I need that. Is, did he have the suit on and everything? I hope. Yes. <laughs> it, it didn't happen, Jake. It did. Fuck, man. Why is Vince such a douchebag? I don't know, but he, at least we got Puppet Vince. Puppet Vince was pretty cool. It Suplex. Was this is such good. Such good shit. Oh god, Sarah knocked on the ref! Ref, don't die on me. God. Oh. Yeah! Sarah Logan! Me. One time, ECW ran in Canada. New Jack walked into the amazement of people in the locker room. Someone said to him they were shocked he was able to cross the border. New Jack said, "Man, the water was cold." <laughs> he the locker room off. <laughs> yeah, that's that's such a New Jack thing. I believe it. <laughs> Man, the water was cold. <laughs> He's saying he illegally crossed. Yeah, the water. yeah, you you think? For, for people, Duh. For people that don't get the joke. <laughs> oh, I don't have a chat open right now. Hold on a second. Okay. Twisted Bliss. Alexa Bliss. Yeah, Alexa Bliss is our women's champion. Oh, I should have put her in a match tonight, man. Oh well. Uh, if you stick around, Salvador, you'll probably see her in, a, in the next stream, which won't be until Wednesday, because I'm coming back Wednesday night. I'll miss Monday, but I'll be back Wednesday night for another stream. So you can go ahead and follow if you want. You can join the Discord, so I, I, you know when I'm live and all that, you know, if you want. At the count of five, Sarah Logan is just continuing to ram Billy's head into the steel ring post. At the count of seven now. 
<laughs> Suicide dive through the ropes to break the count. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to make that. That was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, Sarah's going to do it. Oh, that's number two. The trifecta. I'm going to send you... Uh, <sighs> actually, I'll send it in uh, wrestling because, uh, yeah. What is it? Is it a meme? It, it, it's an interaction between uh, Triple H and... Oh, but she missed the knee! Creed. Triple H and Austin Creed. Nice. Oh, rolling elbow by Bli by Bliss by Billy K by Bliss K. Oh, and another one. Oh God, on the shoulders, head first onto the apron. The hardest part of the ring. Oh man, and Billy knows exactly how hard that apron is, getting spiked right onto it during her Extreme Rules match against Payne Royce. Mm. Oh, I think Billy was about to go for the Emerald Flosion, but Sarah Logan reverses it, turns it into the Death Row Kick! If WWE brought back King of the Ring, who should be the next winner? Alistair Black. He said Austin Creed, obviously. Austin Creed? Cassie Lee. Who's Cassie Lee? Who's, um, who's Cassie Lee? A Australian female wrestler who was formerly a WWE Women's Tag Team Champ. Oh, she was Billy Kay? Yes. Her real name was Cassie Lee? Oh, her, okay. That's cool. I said yes, and then I was like, wait, no. He said Billy Kay. Who was Cassie Lee? Peyton Royce. Okay. But serious answer, I would think Aleister Black should be the next King of the Ring. If there ever is another King of the Ring. Baron Corbin was the last King of the Ring. That's why he has the King Corbin gimmick. Well, Shinsuke stole the crown from Corbin. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Next. Shinsuke versus Baron for the for the crown. Shinsuke stole the crown from Corbin. Winner gets the crown permanently. Alright, I played as Sarah Logan. Sarah Logan wins. I, I think Shinsuke should win it because then he, he's the king of strong style. True, true. Even more so. I wonder if he ever had like any sort of king entrance in New Japan. He probably did and I haven't seen it. I know Kenny Omega has done some pretty dope entrances. Once at the Terminator. He had a whole uh, replica Winchester shotgun, whatever it is, too. He had the half mask. It was awesome. I think that was one of the Okada matches he entered like that, actually. Hmm. Twisted Bliss. Uh, Salvador, if you want to see Alexa Bliss, actually, I don't mind having a worldwide match. Just going to exhibition, going to WCW Worldwide. I'll probably do it anyway, since I'm not going to be here for a while, so I'll do one extra match. Because we're on our last match of the stream, but I don't mind doing another one. Alright. And this is the main event. The next big thing, Brock Lesnar, the Beast Incarnate, takes on the Second City Saint, the WCW World Television Champion, CM Punk. And now, Pixel, please. Serious answer. I would like to know, for real, who you think is going to win.
Pixel. <laughs> Pixel. Please. Please. Oh boy. Please. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Yes? No input. So fucking hell. Oh, suck my dick. Anyway, Brock Lesnar, <laughs> Salvador thinks Brock Lesnar is going to win. Here we go. Hey, at least I didn't do the. Oh, wait, hold on. One second. The one with blank. Honestly, that probably is much better. <laughs> also. I always forget that Dexter Loomis. Well, not always forget. I didn't know Dexter Loomis could draw. Oh no, yeah, he's a real artist. You know, I sent his picture of New Jack in the wrestling. He also he also drew Cameron Graves. <laughs> All right. So then, yeah, I guess. Uh, I'll I will I'll do this match and then I'll do a match with Alexa Bliss on Worldwide, just because. Uh, here we go. Okay. All right, Robertson getting run over by Shotzi's tank. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the WCW World Television Championship. And here comes Brock Lesnar with that big blue briefcase. That briefcase means he is the next challenger for the television championship, and he is using it tonight. There's no other night he could have used it, but just letting you know. That is why he is challenging for the title. It was a ladder match between him and the Big Red Machine, Kane. Kane had the opportunity to make history and become the second double champion, but no. Came up short. It was Lesnar who pulled the briefcase down from the ceiling. Even though it was a little lower than the ceiling, but you know what I mean. Contested four on five. What is that? 10-21. If if you want to watch the Bailey uh, Beyond match, let me know. All right. Because it, it's it was also pretty good. I like that it has this animation when you do an announced cash in. That was cool. <laughs> All right, and there's Brock Lesnar. Now it's CM Punk gonna come to the ring next. With the title in hand, that television championship, this is his first defense of that title. He beat Christian Cage for the belt, stripping Christian of any gold he had to his name. But that's okay, because that Super Bowl, Christian does challenge for the heavyweight title in a two out of three falls match. So he won't be without a belt for long. Possibly, Jericho could always retain. In fact, I'd say Jericho is pretty confident that he's gonna retain. But focusing on the action right now, CM Punk is making his way to the ring. And he is staring at the Beast Incarnate. How must Punk feel right now looking at that wall of meat that's in front of him? Introducing the participants first from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 286 pounds, the challenger, Brock Lesnar.
and his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 218 pounds, he is the WCW World Television Champion, representing the NWO, C.M. Punk. What made you laugh in the middle there? Well, I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> it just happened a minute ago. You... I have ADHD. Shut up. Anyway. <laughs> there we go. Lesnar and Punk. You really act like I remember every single thing. Oh, God. Oh! No, I know what you mean. My memory is shit, too. Don't worry. And Brock Lesnar already has the upper hand. But wait! CM Punk! The elbow! One Goes to the Mongolian shop. Is that you split up her fan suicide? The fan favorites. That's stupid thing. Hey, you know what? I may have broken them up, but it ended with Aleister Black being a heavyweight champion, so I'm okay with it. I don't care. <laughs> Oh, a hard shot to the gut and a big clothesline We could see a new television champion right here ladies and gentlemen Brock Lesnar has worked hard to find his way towards some gold. Oh Way back near the beginning of the season he was in the running for the heavyweight championship Then the never openweight championship and here he is now with an opportunity to capture the television championship the list of names of this championship has already, and it's only been around this season, been held by names like Pete Dunne, Ultimo Dragon, Chris Jericho. Pete Dunne could be amongst those legends. Running Bulldog by Punk. And then of course CM Punk, the current champion, who's a legend in his own right. Oh my god. He's already got it in! The Brock Lock! The Brock Lock is in, but he had his foot on the top rope. Too close to those ropes, Brock. That was fast. He really he built that's his finisher. He built that up fast. Did it do the damage? A two count already? <sighs> This is gonna be over quick, ladies and gentlemen. Jake, this is Brock Lesnar. He doesn't care about uh, you. He just wants to inflict pain. Yeah, it's like it's like Booker T says. This man don't want no water. He don't want no bread. He just wants meat. Oh God. Oh, hammerlock DDT. One. Only a one count! The Hammerlock DDT! Only a one! To say Punk has an uphill battle is an understatement. The champion is the underdog tonight. And we're about to see something amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, no. Punk getting back to his feet. But wait! Oh, the axe chop from the top rope! Also, it sounded like I said ass. I meant axe. <laughs> Gonna go for it again, though. Shooting star from Brock Lesnar! 288 pounds flying through the air with such accuracy. And now one of the shoulders. Good night, everybody. F5. He goes to the pin, but he's got to be too close to the ropes. No, he's just far enough away. 2.9 kick out from CM Punk. CM Punk is still in it. Lesnar can't believe it. Dear God. How is Punk not dead? He should be a hubcap right now. CM Punk saying, it's me. I'm the champion. I'm the champion. Oh, God. Scaling those ropes. Nice arm drag. I had some flair to it, that spin. Into the corner. High knee. Pulls 
shoves him into the clothesline. And Punk setting up for another hammerlock DDT, but Lesnar reverses it. Throws him away, goes to the punch, blocks it, Punk hits the gut. There's a nice normal DDT. Lesnar's had many problems in the past with his abdomen, that stomach eating virus. He's had for many years just something he has to deal with on a daily basis. Not sure if that's exactly what it is, but needless to say, it's definitely not gonna help him in any sense if his torso gets damaged. And the fighting spirit of Punk on display, the second city sink going wild, neck breaker. Roundhouse, and he dropped Lesnar. One, two, only a two. My God. Okay, this time I will do what uh, I laughed at because I'm gonna send it in meme dog. <laughs> Picks him up for the power slam, reverses into a DDT. Gonna try this again. Huh? Oh! The Anaconda Vice! The move they used to put away Christian! And Lesnar is immediately out of it. Those knees right to the back of the neck. Hard forearm. The shot right to the jaw. He's got him up into the corner. Arago gonna scramble his brains for breakfast. Slamming his head on that steel turnbuckle. That pad is only there for protection, but it doesn't add a lot of it. Oh man. Here we go. One. Two. The trifecta. Triple power bump to Punk. Treating him like a rag doll. And now the Brock Lock is in once again. But Punk is out of it. Switch. Switch what? I do snack. Earth month plus shirt. Earth month plus shirt. Uh. Mine would end up being sriracha popcorn because I'm wearing the black shirt and I was born in June. Black shirt, December. What's that? Chocolate popcorn. Ooh, yummy. My brother's was one butter popcorn. Two. God damn it. Peanut butter popcorn? Yeah. Are we all wearing black shirts? Oh man. Because black is the best color. Suplex City. Suplex City. Suplex City. Arm drag by Punk. He survived Suplex City. Taking him near the ropes. Oh, that's an illegal pin. His legs are on the middle rope. Oh, but Lesnar still kicks out. Ref didn't catch it, but he still kicked out. Snapmare into the bottom. Now he's got his arm placed right under the jaw. Punk fires back. Oh, overhead suplex! Punk trips the leg! And you heard of that announcer in his beautiful voice beforehand. CM Punk, he's not just battling for himself here. He represents the NWO. This win isn't just for him, it is for the New World Order. It is for Booker T. CM is for Booker T. It is for Samoa Joe and Jeff Jarrett. I said, I know I said Booker T twice, shut up. And it's for Booker T, Booker T, Booker T, and Booker T. We have a four, it's four Booker T's in one ring. My God, that'd be terrible. <laughs> Whoa! One for each era of Booker T. WCW, one for the King Booker, one for Normal Booker, and one for G.I. Joe Booker. Gets back into the ring, and another three power bombs. yes sir. My God. Jesus Christ. Oh, I think he was about to go for another Brock lock. He reversed it. Managed to push him away. Irish whip into the corner. Oh man. 
Oh, wait. Oh, God. Oh! Don't run suplex. Think Punk is about to try to take Lesnar up to the top for that Pepsi plunge. But he's got another F5 coming his way. Oh! Cover that man. One, two. New television champion crown tonight. Brock Lesnar is the new WCW World Television Champion. CM Punk's first title defense, and he couldn't do it. But by God, he tried his best. You saw the effort he put into it here tonight. What a main event. What a match. That was actually pretty damn good. <laughs> He put in the Anaconda Vice. He did the Hammerlock DDT. If he had hit the Pepsi Plunge, he may have done it. But he just couldn't get him up there. And our referee handing off the belt to Lesnar. He grabs it away from, give me this. This is mine now. Lesnar has found his gold. And look at that. That laugh. We may now have the most dominant television champion in WCW history right here. I am excited to see where this goes. Oh my god, that'd be terrible. <laughs> that'd be so funny. <laughs> it would in the rematch with Punk. Alright. Alright, that's it for Thunder. Stream's not over yet though. Uh that would have been a good match to end off of, but I do feel like playing as Alexa Bliss and going into Worldwide. Mostly just because I like the arena, and I want to play another match. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. Did you, uh... Oh, I, already, I think I already told you. Did you see uh, Kota Ibushi versus CM Punk on the last Worldwide match that I did? I don't remember. Oh, well, I I made Kota Ibushi the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> so he has that belt that you don't like. <laughs> oh, the garbage belt. <laughs> it look it, it I didn't I wasn't sure about it at first, but it grew on me. I actually really like it. I was going to make a whole video about it, but oh well. Main reason why I hate it is because it just gets rid of the No, it doesn't. It takes inspiration from the previous belts of the the previous iterations of the IWGP Heavyweight Belt, and just and like just because there's a new belt doesn't mean that the history of the old belt is gone. Like it's still gonna be around forever. Jake, they got rid of an entire title belt. Yeah, I know, but that history is still gonna exist. Like you can always look back and see that it exists. They didn't just erase it from history. Yeah, but. It gets rid of the history of. I don't. I don't believe that argument. I don't know about that. It's a historic belt. Yeah, and I'm not saying it's not historical belt. It is for sure. But just because there's a new belt and the old belt isn't being contested for anymore, that doesn't make it like I'm not, gone. I'm not saying that the new belt is the problem. I'm saying mm. that getting rid of the other championship is the problem. Oh, so you mean you're saying they should have kept the other belt around? Is what you're saying? Yes. Okay, I see. Do not have unified the titles. Okay. So eliminates the history. I see what you mean now. Okay. Well, that's well. I guess well, if you have one heavyweight championship, you don't really need another one. So I guess there's that. But I see what you mean now. That makes more sense now. And uh, should I? Should we have someone who's? It was. Sorry. What? Cause wasn't it the Intercontinental title and the? Uh, yeah, that's why. WPP heavyweight title. Yeah, that's why it became. It's like the world title and the WWE title. Yeah, it's like that. How it became the universal title. Or how they had the both. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. But, um... What was I about to say? I don't remember. I'm talking about IWGP Intercontinental title and... Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that, that's why it's the World Heavyweight Championship now. is because they, compare, they, they compared it. They paired it with the Intercontinental Championship. So it's not just a heavyweight belt anymore. It's a World Heavyweight belt. Which makes no difference, but still. <laughs> I don't care.
care. They should not have gotten rid of the IC title. I'm pretty okay with it, but I'm pretty okay with it, but I see your argument a little better now. But uh, what I was going to ask is, should we have someone who's already on the WCW roster, or should we invite someone over? Because I wanted to have uh, either Ember Moon or Shayna Baszler want. come in here. Do what you want. Alright, I'll go I against... I'll go against Ember Moon. I'm playing as Alexa Bliss. But Oh, it's the wrong arena! God damn it. <laughs> Only reason I'm not... I wasn't upset about the world title and the WWE title getting unified is A, I wasn't around at that time and B I mean the world title belt the world heavyweight championship was just the WCW world title that's basically what they I wonder why they did that <laughs> they didn't change the belt it, they didn't. They just changed the name WCW of it. WCW World Heavyweight Title. They just changed the name of it. <laughs> they changed it from WCW to WWE. Yeah, that's all they did. <laughs> Turn my... You okay with that? Is it okay if I turn this on? You're hot. Yeah. How are you hot? No, I'm still going. <laughs> All right. One more match. You know, I can turn my screen on for this, actually. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay, so you guys can see what I'm doing. It doesn't really matter. This is a throwaway match. You already said match. I said it, but... I forgot. I did the wrong arena, so I have to restart. <laughs> Okay, there we go. What do you think of Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart being a team? Makes no sense. Makes no sense. They look really cool together, though. It just feels like a thrown together tag team. I kind of like that, though. And then, of course, I love the tank, too. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason you love it is because of the tank. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You look. You you tell me dead on that you don't like that tank. I mean, exactly. I've grown more used to it. I don't really care about it. It's awesome. All right. I just think, I, I just think that uh, Shotzi and Ember shouldn't be just thrown into the women's tag division yeah they already I, that's still that still upsets me that they have nxt women's tag team matches when they already have another women's tag team championships that they aren't even using and then it's, they're using them very poorly as well what do you mean they're using them poorly the way it deserved them way more than uh shotzi and Ember. Like, oh wait, yeah, N uh, Natalia and Tamina. Hell deserve to hold them for at least a month. Mm -hmm. Like, it's ridiculous that they were given the titles and lost them two hours later. Yeah, that is that. Especially considering they beat Ember and Shotzi in the finals. Yeah, that especially was pretty dumb. If they're gonna do that, then they should have just, uh. Them, uh. compete for the titles in a rematch. Yeah. They, they shouldn't have awarded the belts to Dakota and Raquel. If they're just gonna lose that match. Yeah, but now Raquel is the women's champion, so that's pretty cool. Which, for anyone to, and 
Leo's reign, I'm glad it was someone who looks dominant. Yeah, that's it's pretty believable. She's a Amazon of a woman. The match too was actually pretty well. It ended kind of flat, but it was still really good. Should have been should have lasted a little longer, in my opinion. But here we go. On WCW Worldwide, Alexa Bliss, the women's champion versus Ember Moon. Coming from Stardom Pro. That was like one of the first NXTs that I was underwhelmed by the main event. Yeah. It was one of the first takeovers where I was was underwhelmed. Bulldog by Alexa. Night two, up, though. night two really picked up where night one left off. Yeah. You know, the crucifix still, pin didn't work though. Still don't understand why people hated uh, Cole O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly? Cole versus O'Reilly. Oh, that, yeah. I don't really say that either. It was pretty good. Maybe people didn't like how long it went on because it did go on for a long time. But I think that was okay. Yes, it was a 40 minute match, but it didn't really feel that long. And you know, with their rivalry, I feel like it should that, that it's appropriate that it went on as long as it did. Yeah. You know, forty minutes of two people who just fucking hate each other beating the shit out of each other. Has this match happened IRL yet? Ember Moon and Alexa. I think it has. If it did, if if it did, who do you think would win? Let's say Alexa Bliss now versus Ember Moon. Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss? Yeah. Hey, if, if you're saying now, no chance they're having Alexa lose. <laughs> well, if she's doing the theme gimmick. Mm hmm Or the... The Sister Abigail thing. I don't, I don't know if it would be Sister Abigail. I think it is. Oh god, ow, 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 I can't reverse this, ow, fuck, my head. You love Ember Moon and NXT? Ember Moon, yeah, that's not the same Ember Moon as bad. Ember Moon is fucking awesome. I just feel she could do better than being in the tag team division with Shotzi. And Shotzi's cool too, so it's shit on both of them. If they win the belts, cool, I'm happy for them, I love them. But, you know, I don't. I think they can do better. Like, it, it's... Thing where they should be singles competitors they shouldn't be forced to uh, be in the tag team division oh god like, the women's tag division is really weak like <laughs> case in point uh, Naya and uh Shayna holding on to the titles for however long it was. Oh, front flip closed line out of the corner. A cover. Like, or if they're still holding, I don't know. I don't care about the women's tag titles. Yeah. It was a good idea in paper, but in execution, they really flubbed it up. All right. Because I'm gonna let Emma do this to me and see if I can kick out. Or not. Basically, you didn't have uh, the Boston Hug connection or, uh, oh my god, why can't I think? What, what, once they split up, once, once Kyrie returned to Japan and um, they split up Sasha and Bailey, tag when it's tag division was dead. I win! Okay. <laughs> but yeah. That, that's the only issue was... They, they really messed up getting rid of Bailey, Sasha, and then... Uh... Kari and Asuka? Well, that wasn't 
got split up. That was more because Kyrie wanted to return to Japan. Oh yeah. Do you think Kyrie will keep wrestling for WWE? I mean, she's still affiliated with WWE. Yeah, she hasn't taken her out of her name on on uh, Instagram yet. I'm pretty sure if you look at the roster, it shows her as an affiliate, mm -hmm. which means that she's not an in-ring competitor, but she's still signed with the company. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I'm gonna do? Yeah, so we had a couple big matches. Booker T on the first Monday Night Raw year four, he's gonna face the heavyweight champion. And we have a new television champion in Brock Lesnar. We have number one contenders for the tag team championships, the Butcher and the Blade. We'll take on the NWO with Jeff Jarrett and Samoa Joe. And I am just getting more and more excited for Super Bowl. We are two weeks away now from Super Bowl. And the next Universe Mode stream should be Wednesday night. So, Salvador, if you want to follow and join the Discord, you'll know when we're live. Unless you think I'm just some schmuck and you don't want to give me any attention, that's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. You really don't have to. But, uh, yeah. Thanks, Buxo, for joining me again. Thanks, everyone, who stopped by. And uh, Salvador for the part for the raid. Thank you very much for that, too. I will see y'all later then. Yeah, Kyrie is an off-screen ambassador. Awesome.